Welcome back everyone. This is Nate from Nate's Here and There. I am coming to you. Yes, we're here tonight. It is season pass preview night here at Carowinds. So this is not actually the first day. This is before the public, the uh, general public can come in. The, all the season pass members can come in and you know, enjoy the night from four to 10. Um, I'm hoping that I can make it for the first day, but the way the weather looks, it may not happen. You know, they, they may have a, they're calling for really heavy rain around here, around um, uh, Carowinds, around the Carolinas. So anyway, grab a chair on this day the Lord has made. Sit back and enjoy. And also we're gonna see what they have new at the park today, what they've changed. Okay, I will say this. They have added a lot of uh, speakers in here for music. They're playing a lot more music in here today. Okay, I got to say this. They also testing the rides. They're testing uh, Nighthawk now. It's uh, on the track. I think that's, there it goes. Here we go. Well, they just opened the gate where we can come in and first thing I'm gonna do is walk over here where the the new Thunder Striker they changed the name of the uh, Intimidator to Thunder Striker. And this is the new improved Carowinds mobile app. So you can see to be honest with you, I have the app, but the bad thing about it, my app don't work. I don't know why it won't work. And this right here is actually Thunder Roads, uh, one of its train cars. They turned it uh, turned it into a um, place for merchandise. I don't really, I really wish Thunder Road was still here. This is, a, this was the thing of the past. This was my past childhood. I remember this, I love this ride. And look at the pretty cool hats they got here. They got scare winds. I got I like the the S on the scare winds. Oh, I, I, I like this one. It was first open 1973. And they got a one over here with a Winterfest on. That's pretty cool. The Thunder Striker is already running what used to be called the Intimidator. I really wish it still was the Intimidator, but that's just my opinion. And we walked in Harmony Hall hoping that they would have something out here to eat. And I really don't see anything. But I'll tell you this, they got a lot of green out here for St. Patrick's Day. I got to say this right here. That's the first time I noticed the mural of Snoopy and Woodstock. I didn't, and it's got a bunch of popcorn on it. I think that's really cool right there. We walked into Camp Snoopy back here, and we're, my niece is gonna ride uh, what used to be called Scooby-Doo, now it's the Woodstock Express. I'm gonna get her reaction when she gets off. And it's coming around, let's see if she's on this one. No, she ain't on this one yet. There she's standing right there. What happened? <laughs> She'll be on the next one. I got to say this. This is a really good ride. I don't care if it's a kiddie ride. This was a really good ride for adults as much as kids. All right. All right. Here they come around right here. I'll get it a wave at me. Amani. She ain't looking. Oh, I love this ride. 
There they go. Mm. Come on, give me give, give me your review on this roller coaster. It's it's fine, but if anybody's gonna go, and just be prepared for the part where it seems like it's about to slam you off the ground. It did. It was like, I thought it was about to go. And I think this is where we're going to eat at. At Camp Cookout here in Camp Snoopy. Let's walk in and see what is on the menu here. And this is this is the uh, menu right here. You get a cheeseburger basket, or you get a chicken tender basket. That's only two, or you get a mini corn dog basket. And this is what I ended up going with. I ended up going with a cheeseburger and fries. We're about to see how how what Camp Snoopy, the cookout, how good it is. You see, we came down to Monardo's. That's a sign right there to eat because at uh, Camp Cookout, there's no tables. You have to eat outside, and it's raining outside. But I believe these French fries are here. I believe these are cooked in air fryer. I don't think these are cooked in grease. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna say this hamburger. It's prefab. I hate to say it, I feel like they heat it up in the microwave. I mean, they probably cook it on the grill. I don't know. But to, to me, I like uh, the Jukebox Diners hamburgers a whole lot better. Okay, about, I'm going to say this. Back in the early 2000s, I wish Carowinds would go back to that where they did their meal plan was a buffet style. They had it out right out back where the afterburn, which was Top Gun at the time. You got a chicken, or you got, uh, let's see, chicken, coleslaw, potato salad, a roll, and you could, you could about as many times you wanted to. That's what the meal plan was back then. But this hamburger was decent for a music park. It was okay. I mean, it's something if you want quick. I would not get it if it was, you know, that's the only thing I had to eat. I'd go somewhere else. I'd go to the Jukebox Diner. Now they got really good hamburgers. But I'd give this plate, this hamburger a three. I don't think I'd get it again. This is the ride we fix to do right here. We fix to do go to the Blue Blast. We're fix, um, it's a pretty cool ride, a little kitty ride, like a dart ride. I like it. Okay, that was a no go. The ride broke down as soon as we got on. So uh, we're gonna go down here, and I think my niece is gonna ride something in aeronautical landings. I like this right here. I didn't notice this last year when we came. They got the uh, Pilot Mountain up here. A Sky High Challenges. It's a game. It's a, uh, some kind of game, but they got Pilot Mountain back here in the very back. I didn't realize that. And this was one of the rides that was not here halfway through the season. It was a uh, gyro force. And it was, um, uh, it's kind of like a scrambler a little bit. To me, it looks like a little scrambler. I'll show it to you when it gets going.
there's my little niece on it right here. I'll see if she gets a, my, uh, her attention. She's right there. Right there in that seat right there. There she goes, she's waving. <laughs> I want you to let you know this. Armani, my little niece, is my brother and sister's sister in law's uh, adopted daughter. They are adopting her. So I have claimed her as my niece. I love her to death. All right, I'm here with another YouTuber. You want to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Jay from McVenture Coaster Vlogs. And what kind of stuff do you do? I go all across the country just riding roller coasters, so I kind of cover like reactions to roller coasters. Every YouTuber does everything different. And you know, I'll cover food and we'll, like I've got a different crew. So like the McVenture crew, you'll see us in orange shirts and we do, we mainly cover Carowinds, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg and other parks, but we're at Dollywood and, but we go all over just riding roller coasters. It's really fun. I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. All, all his uh, stuff will be in the links in this description uh, this video. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. And I'm here with another YouTuber. Can you, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is uh, Jamal, but I go by Jay from Coaster Riders. Um, I actually live an exit away. Really? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like five minutes. So I haven't been in a while last year going through some personal stuff. Um, so I said I wanted to come and see what changes they've made. Um, so far, so good. Um, the weather's kind of cleared up finally, so that's always a good thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I was worried myself when I got here about the, the rain. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely cleared up. Hopefully it stays like this. Um, hopefully it scared a lot of people away. It won't get too busy, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Well, all his information will be in, in the links of this video. All right, see you later. Okay, again, we're gonna try Boo Blasters again. I don't know what's, if it's, it's running now, I think. I hate to say this, they beat me. They had over 160 something thousand. I only had 78,000 shots. That's crazy. Now my niece is on this ride right here. I'm gonna get her opinion when she gets off. What she, her review on it. I'm trying to see if I see her. I don't see her yet. Uh, oh yeah, 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 there she is. There she is right here. There she is right there. I was gonna say this, um, I got noticed a few minutes ago, a lady's come by and said uh, that she likes watching my videos. And you know, that really, that was really inspiring to me because to be honest with you, I've, I've struggled sometimes knowing, just wondering if anybody ever watches my videos, if anybody ever, what kind of impact I'm making on people's lives. And this is the ride that my niece is on right here, the Carolina Gold Rush. It's a fun, really kitty, fun family ride. It's, um, I don't think that's her waving. No, I don't think But, uh, it's a fun kitty ride. It's been here, it's, this ride right here has been here since the park opened. It's the oldest ride in the park. It's been here since 73. Now I'm gonna say this. This right here used to be a Coca-Cola where they had Coca-Cola machines. Now you come over here and it's these little games that I can never win. I can never win these big, win big prizes. I can't do that stuff. 
about the only way I could do it is bust a class, but I'm not gonna do that. I won't do that. <clears throat> Look at these plushies. My goodness, they're huge. That is huge right there. I'm telling you right now, like I said, I can't, I can't do this stuff. I don't know how to do it. And this shop right here I'm walking into was last year they had the Christmas cookies where they made Christmas cookies in here. Now it's all transformed into Thrill Zone. Let's see what color. We got Salt Life. It's pretty cool shirts. That's pretty cool. Flip flops for men. Quick silver. I don't know those. Pretty cool right here. Hoodies. Oh, we got Under Armour. They got the Under Armour uh, bags. I'm not riding this tonight because the last time I rode this one, I, I got sick. My niece and my wife is on it though. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna see where they're at. See what kind of horses they chose. Let's see. see him yet daddy I cannot believe she's sitting down my wife is I don't see my niece anywhere I like I do like the music on these uh, old carousels I love the music oh there she is she's in the middle She's right there. I will say this, they got these all over the park now. They got a lot of these Dippin' Dots stands. They got one of theirs really big. I like Dippin' Dots. The only bad thing about it, they freeze your tongue. And this is the Thunder Striker, which used to be called the Intimidator, which I don't understand. Well, I know the reason they changed it, but this is they shouldn't have changed it i do have to say this the wind seeker is beautiful at night it uh, shows off all different kind of patterns of colors and there's somebody actually on the sky the uh sky coaster the slingshot the sky coaster what? slingshot whatever we're going back into the camp snoopy my niece wants to ride the uh Woodstock Express again. So we're gonna walk through here. And she wants me to ride the balloons over here. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna say, I just got off the balloon chase. I'm gonna tell you this right now. That's not a kitty ride. Oh my goodness. That ride right there. That thing made me dizzy. I sat, my wife told me, you shouldn't have sat backwards. And I did. I sat backwards and oof, I got off. My knees was kind of weak there for a minute. I'm going to tell you this right now. It's getting kind of chilly out here. We're sitting, we're waiting on my knees. So my knee to get off of uh, Woodstock Express, the old Scooby Doo. She wanted to ride it again. But it, it is getting extremely cold. It's getting got pretty chilly out here. If I'm not mistaken, this stuff right here is new. I think they put up some new decor in here this year. But the only thing that isn't new is this truck. I do remember this truck. It's pretty cool right in here. All the decor. I've never showed this one right here. This is Camp Snoopy's Charlie Brown's wind-up. 
and that's it right here. It's a smaller version of the swings, uh, which you know, I don't ride. I, I mean, I, I won't ride this, but I won't ride the swings either. And I gotta say, that's a unique trash can right there. Out of a 55 wooden drum. Or it's made up to be like one. This one right here is the Snoopy's Junction, which is the train. And it's closed. It says this attraction is temporarily closed. And they had it on the website that they was not going to um, run this uh, attraction tonight. And this is the pirate ship over here. This, this one is, uh, it's kind of like the balloon ride. It may look like it's a kitty ride, but this thing is, this thing is uh, snap you around really quick. And this one's actually called the Peanuts Pirates. Camp Snoopy's Peanuts Pirates. And I'll show you my niece on it. I'm gonna, she wants me to ride it with her, but that, it's, I think it's a little bit too, uh, you do it again? too small for both of us to get in. They start. There's my niece right there. <laughs> like I said, this thing is fast. <laughs> this is the one that my niece is on right now. The Woodstock Whirly Birds. Oh, we're gonna walk. I'm on. Walk over here and film her. <laughs> I hope she's having fun tonight. She's in the first car right there with the guys buckling her up. There they go. That's a uh, thunder. That's thunder striker going by. Spin it, Monty. <laughs> hey, moves. That's her right there. Oh, she got that thing spinning now. I do know this right here was once the Chaxi Jam. This little small little roller coaster right here. And you see an Intimidator going by. Oh, I'm sorry, the Thunder Striker. I'm so used to seeing the Intimidator. Amazing face. Now raise your hand if you're not wearing any blue. I see. Beautiful. Thank you. Now raise both hands and the person directly behind you is smiling. Oh, smiling. No, I'm smiling. Well, we got to fix that. Oh, here we go. Raise your hand if you just like raising your hands. Oh, no, look, raise your hand. This is where we're going to eat at tonight. We're going to eat a second time here at the Harmony Hall, our favorite, almost favorite place to eat at. This is their menu up here at the on the bar barbecue side. They got the same stuff they had last year. The only thing is different is this right here. I think this is burnt in uh, rib burnt ins. And this is what I ended up going with. I went burnt ends, mac and cheese, and they have their cornbread. It's not it's not really cornbread, it's a piece of cake. And my wife gave me her beans, so I'll let you know what these uh, burnt ends taste like when I get done. They it's good. good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you. It's the same same thing they had during the uh, winter fest, the burn-ins, the burn-ins, same stuff. But these right here are odd. Look at these 
noodles for these macaroni and cheese. I think it's long. It's good. I'll say this, the baked beans has got a little bit different flavor than they had last year, which I like that. I guess they're trying new recipes. I like that. I will say this about the cornbread this year. The cornbread actually tastes like cornbread, not cake. That's really good. Last year it was taste like a, a, piece, a piece of cake. This year is really extremely good. Okay, I will say this. I will get that plate again. That was actually really good. I'm, uh, <laughs> my niece playing with my phone. <clears throat> but the burnt ends had a good, really good flavor. It was, uh, had a really smoky flavor. I really like that. <clears throat> Like I said, the rest of the stuff, I get this again. I recommend the burn ins here at the uh, Harmony Hall. So, it's up to you. It's whatever you like. I'm just letting you know what you know what's good, what I think is good. Have a good night. That was my niece playing. Yes, I am. No. I believe it on there. I thought I thought I'd show this too. You can upgrade your uh, daily pass, your daily ticket, to a 2024 Silver Pass. Unlimited visits to September the 2nd, free parking, Carolina Harbor Water Park, exclusive discounts, pass perks, rewards. Visit guest services for details. And that's where the your ticket. You just you can upgrade it. Um, your ticket. And that's all for this one. Uh, we came here tonight to uh, the season pass uh, preview before the park officially opens for the public. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video as much as I have. I've enjoyed it. I met a few uh, YouTubers and their links will be in the description of this video. And um, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's your bell to notify you when I upload videos just like this one. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the videos. And remember to let go and let God. Bye now. Oh, I'm going to say one thing too before I go. The one thing I don't like is I feel like they put more speakers. They play more music in the park. There's... A lot of places that you cannot film because they're playing uh, copyrighted music. So, be safe. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one. And remember to let go and let God. Bye now. And I forgot to say this when I ended it a while ago. My wife told me to do this in a video. I should, be, I should have done this in a video. I've cut back on um, in the videos that I've do, I'm doing uh, I'm doing four uploads a week Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from now on the only days I won't upload will be Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday the reason I don't do it on Sunday is because when I started this I feel like the Lord told me don't upload on Sunday to you know take that day for rest so, and I, uh, the only times I will be doing uploading videos, multiple videos, will be when I go to the beach, when we go on vacation. I'll be doing a daily video then. So, um, I hope you understand the reason I'm doing it, because I need to spend more time with my wife and you know i have i have other stuff i got going on too so i will like i said on my comment i will be going out and i will be doing videos just as not as many so i can spend time with my wife so i hope you understand